Hello everyone, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Monster Girl Quest Paradox. Last time, we had finished recruiting Gnome, as well as the Metal Queen and the Nobby, and we are ready to head to the last Targus Rift of Part 1. And I'm ready to get to it, because the... Last of Taurus Rift of Part 1 is still probably one of my favorite parts of the game. So, let's get going. Starting with the Alice Rift. Alright. Father. Uh, I see. This is where the previous King of Sabasa. Are you alright, Sarah? If this is going to be too hard on you, you can wait for us in the pocket castle. No. Let me go with you. I wanted to visit the place my father died anyway. Besides, it might just be me refusing to accept reality, but father surely is alive. He is definitely alive in some capacity somewhere. I guarantee it. My mother disappeared in the vicinity of the monster con Conus Taurus Rift. She was presumed dead for a long time, but has recently reappeared. I don't want to get your hopes up. When it comes to Taurus, anything is possible. The King of Sabasa fell into a hole during his visit here. His corpse wasn't found, but... The circumstances of his disappearance were undeniably suspicious. The theories circulating on the street uh, that he's still alive are also too credible to ignore. On top of that, we know that Taurus is a tunnel leading to another world. I'm sorry. You don't need to worry about me. Come on, let's go! Alright, let's talk to people. What a disaster! We can't progress with our investigation like this! Ah, uh, yes, the dirt. As if I care about orders to return from the capital! This is a battle to avenge the king! We will research this Taurus until we reveal everything that will be our farewell gift to the king who died during his visit. There's no need to force yourself. You aren't responsible for the king's death. Your majesty, the queen. No. I mean, Princess Sarah. Regardless, I cannot leave my duty halfway and return home. A strange rabbit set up a pile of soil in front of the entrance. Because of that, we can no longer enter Tara's Rift. How'd you make a pile of soil, you ask? With a scoop while humming. Why, rabbit, what is she plying this time? Damn white rabbit. Once again, her actions are completely inexplicable. Say nothing else. Alright. I just warn you talk to Promestine. First drink, I'll take it. Nothing else for it. What's this? It's way more than just a pile of soil. Can we squeeze our way around it? The lump of soil gets up and forcibly blocks us from passing. We got blocked by a moving pile of soil? Then I'll... Uh, ah, it pushed me away. Hilt will charge. Gah! Charge failed. If we had Gnome's help, we might be able to get by. Gnome points with her finger, and the pile of soil immediately collapses. Nami! So amazing! There. Now we can enter the tar strip. Hmm? You again. Ta-da! You again? What were you up to this time? Shouldn't you show yourself once again, white rabbit? Was this your latest way of harassing us? 
I'm not harassing you, honest. A tuning with a scythe was chasing me, so I made this. You were worried about a tuning with a scythe chasing you, so you calmly and leisurely built a pile of soil. Can't something be done about him? Jeez, I'd like to complain to his parents. <laughs> yeah, his parents are right in front of you. Ugh, enough of your babble. You'll pay if you plan to keep getting our way. Enough of your jokes! If you get our way any further, I shall destroy you right here. I'm not getting in your way or anything. I just wanted you to have known with you before you went any further. Now, go and see the chaos-covered world ahead. See you later! G wait Gah! She ran away again. So that's the rumored rabbit. Quite the mysterious entity. Energy level. Undefined. Reading contains imaginary numbers. I wonder what awaits us down there. She sounded like it was really serious. It is really serious. <laughs> she always talks like that. I bet it's just... Oh, right! I forgot! She's back! Here, let me give you these. They're completely useless, but I've got to get rid of them somehow. So, here you go! Obtain Nero's glasses. I stole them from him when we were going at it. Glasses! My glasses! He kept yelling. What a riot! You made such a cool character say that?! No, I lied. He didn't say anything of sorts. He actually ripped my head off in revenge. But no need to worry, as it grew a back right away. Anyways, I'll be going before that tuning assaults me again. What earth? You. Let's get back to what we came here for and enter the rift. Well, the works below and what kind of altered world it's connected to. Those are things we have to see with our own eyes. Indeed. With the pile of soil removed, we can resume our investigation. However, with so few guards around to escort us, we can't delve too deeply. I'm surprised you could go in at all with how weak y'all are. Research is something that progresses slowly. I understand my buddy's feelings, but being impatient won't make you results. Exactly. If you lack the requisite patience, you are liable to overlook something important in your haste. Alright, you say the same thing. Let's see. Before we go back up to switch out our party, let's go get a talk real quick. Here we go. What's with this black crevice? It looks like both the wall and space itself have cracked. Kew, kew! Is the space itself being eroded by something? Or assimilated somehow? I can't even make an educated guess. Either way, let's not touch it. It feels extremely dangerous. Alright. Alright, let's get to it. Desert Eagle, nice. Valto appears. So... Yeah, this girl is the closest thing to the Terminator that we actually get. Uh... Yeah, I'm not smashing that one. That one's, uh... I mean, what even is there to smash? Anyway, yeah. They got an interesting design, that's for sure, just no smash. Talk with Luca. Heat wave with Miranda. 
Megaton Press, Dahlia, and I don't have anything that does all of those. Let's do a Chaos Arrow then. Hey, can I talk to you for a minute? Give me that stone. Give Thunderstone, sure. Appreciated. Oh, nice bound. Heat smash. Nice dodge. Nice dodge. Dragon sword explode around them. Heat wave. All right. All parts cease functioning. Alright, Dahlia's gonna make quick work of these people. Yuliru has reached level 23. White Holy Stone. The Tala appears. So, yeah. Uh, this one's gonna be in there, no smash from me. I do actually kind of like her personality, but. Yeah, her entire. I mean, her entire thing is wanting to eat you, so. No smash. <laughs> Talk with Luca, Heat Wave, Megaton Press. Guess we just did our Chaos Arrow. That strange meat looks good. Will you give it to your big sister? Also, I do think it's interesting that she wears those cool sunglasses. You're a good child, huh, boy? Nice. This is making me angry. Has reached level 25. Right. What? What is this place? Space here appears to be quite unstable. Who made such a thing happen? Chaos, that's what. The power of chaos. Recently, the number of people who have wandered in here has increased. I wish to analyze the reason. I don't know. Space has become unstable. It's a popular tourist spot. Space has become unstable. You're saying the number of incident gates has increased. If the destabilization grows, eventually the world will be just like this one. Alright. Dog mag cell culture obtained. Shinifa appears. 
Again, another interesting design. She's actually got a cool quirk to her. But still, no smash. Wait, what's that in my ear? No, no, go! Shanifa is the best girl. All other women are but trash compared to Shanifa. Shanifa is the only smash. All other are trash. Ugh. My ear. What's with the numbers? Ugh. I hate when Shanifa does that. <laughs> Luca, I thought I don't think you can even really talk to her. <laughs> Sword Heat Wave. I get to press. Chaos Arrow. <laughs> Shanifa is laughing. Ignore. Laugh with her. Get angry. Laugh with her. <laughs> Geneva, continue to laugh regardless of your intentions. <laughs> Geneva giggles. <laughs> Dahlia's been bound? Oh my. Well, that sucks. Well, at least we get to talk. She didn't move, so at least we get to talk to her more. Attack. Oh, we got another Chaos Arrow. <laughs> Ignore. And then you just laugh regardless of your intentions. Alright. It's gonna be a pain to recruit if we can't get her affinity up. Heat wave. Well, I guess we'll do a fire arrow. Ah. Geneva is staring at your high quality herb. Want to give her an high quality herb? Yes. I wouldn't mind some money. Think of your big sister some. Give her some money, yes. You're a good child, huh, boy? Alright. Electromagnetic armor. I am powered by human life force. Once they're captured, regardless of their gender, I drain their vitality. Monaco has reached level 24. Ah, and Valto joins us. Requesting permission to accompany you. Valto manages to rise back up. Looks like she wants to join your party. As a companion, yes. Affirmative. I will accompany Master from now on. Bato has joined the party. Alright, Naho, it is your time to go. 
Now it heads back to the castle. Alright, Balto, the Gunner, and Camaroy join our party, replacing Miranda in the front lead. Alright. There are quite a few of those cracks in space. The distortions are spraying more for the further we go in. Wait, no. It's rather that the distortion is coming from beyond here. Ah, Vitea. So she's interesting in that the female form that you see, that isn't her body. That is a mechanical suit that the purple slime pilots. The purple slime is her actual body. It's still quite interesting. This one I think I will smash. Get a free quicksand at the start, I'll take it. Forgot to heal Luca, but it should be alright. Alright, Balto, what are we doing with you? How about electrical flux emitter? Make a ton press. And we'll stick with Chaos Arrow. If a male's genitals are covered in my mucus, they'll meet their end as re they release their stuff. The road away in the sticky hell. Take these slime bullets. Well, that's because his health was low. I didn't realize your HP was so low. Oh well. Ending here. Regrettable. Rushing blue water stone tank. Chaos crystal tank. Nice. It's nice that our starting HP is 666. <laughs> Dust green. Oh, nice cut in. Ellen has reached level 24. Lynn has reached level 24. We're just going to chill here until we recruit the rest of the apoptosis here. I have no memories, just my orders to eliminate intruders. I don't know what this world is, but you think it is. A different dimension, an underground cave, a world of dreams. A different dimension. It certainly seems like a gap between worlds. Then what are the ruins of the town we see? Alright, nice. Dahlia has reached level 24. Liru has reached level 24. A present for the boy. Please take this magic stone. The ruins of a research facility are here. There are also places where the ruins of a town remain. I'll take my time savoring you. Dissolve as I suck on you like candy. <laughs> the water here is polluted. Is the water in the outside world clean? It's clean, it's blue, there is no water. It's clean. That's wonderful. I'd love to assimilate it. Luca has reached level 31. We've overleveled part 1. <laughs> On the Alistair, at least. Monaco has reached level 25. Miranda has reached level 26. I do have my own will. 
It's just that the instincts to eliminate overpowers my will. Valto has reached level 24. If you touch my mucus, I'll be able to drain your life force. Please run away. <laughs> ah, there we go. There's one. I'm tired of this place. Will you please invite me to go to the outside world? Taya manages to rise back up. Looks like she wants to join her party. There's a companion. Yes. I'm really looking forward to it. What's waiting for me out there? Taya has joined the party. Right. Monaco, it is your time to go. Alright. Vitea, the master thief, re replaces the archer. <laughs> so, let's get going. Then let's reach level 25. Shanifa threw some coins over to you. Hello, it's reached level 25. <laughs> Dolly has reached level 25. Liru has reached level 25. There we go. Shanifa joins us. <laughs> Geneva manages to rise back up. It looks like she wants to join your party. There's a companion. Yes. <laughs> Geneva has joined the party. All right. I guess, uh... Liru, it is your time to go. Well, it's sad to have Dahlia leave the front line. But I guess it was a bit getting a bit too easy there with her. So, let's continue with this. I wonder, what am I? An apoptosis, a monster, a big mouth yokai. An apoptosis. Yeah. I'm an elimination feature of space-time itself. I only eliminate intruders, boy. Nice cut in. This tongue in my abdomen is pretty useful. What do you think I can do with it? You can extend it at will to capture prey. You can distinguish alcohol from different countries. You can ch tie cherry stems. You can tie cherry stems. <laughs> Well, of course it's this, but I wonder what she says if you say this. You think I can do that sort of thing, foolish boy? Aw, oh, she went down. Luke has reached hero level 7. That's because Shafina has a lucky dance. SP regen, 10% learn. Luke has reached lowly angel level 6. They has reached level 24. Rena has reached level 27. Luca has reached level 32. Still haven't got her. Shanifa has reached level 24. Lynn has reached level 26. Still not? Jesus. Valto has reached level 26. Helen has reached level 26. Dolly has reached level 26. Ah, oh, finally! Jesus, she took forever to join. Rejoice, boy. Big Sister will be your companion. Vitala manages to rise back up. She looks like she wants to join your party. Has a companion? Yes. Now, I probably won't go hungry for a while. <laughs> Does the boy want to be eaten too? He's joined the party. Alright, Lynn, it's your time to go. Alright, now we can move on. It's the same door we've seen before. Hmm. Hmm. Luca, open the door. 
Okay, let's go. Alright, now for the Ilias route. I don't need to recruit anyone, just some battles. One for each of Poptosis and a group of three. What's with this black crevice? It's like the wall in space itself have cracked. Is this a fault made from non-existence? How can nothingness itself take form in a road space-time? If this spreads, the world itself will turn into nothingness. I see. In other words, the chaos that covers the world. Wh what does that mean? Let's proceed for now. Don't touch that either. If you do, the matter will be erased. Eh? It'll disappear if I touch it? The only thing that will disappear is your arm. Yeah! I was just about to touch it! Alright, Vite! Alright, talk Luca. What to do with Deji? I guess we do tackles. Yes, tackle bind. Lily, uh, Lily. Tackles. Uh, summoning. Summon a Lamia. Let's do a curse dance. Poison's the only thing that got them. Everyone's getting bound by tickles! Now knock everyone down. Sufficient energy. I shall take your stuff. The taste slime takes hold of Luca's body. Luca's been bound. Just struggle out of that. Dark fog. One cross for all contact. I will dispose of you by absorbing your stuff. Oh, nice. Chaos has come this far? Has this area already been turned into another world then? Holy white stone. The Tala. Talk. Tentacles, tentacle bind. Summoning, summon Lamia, Evil Fear. Oh, 
boy, you look delicious. Took no damage, huh? Culture. Valto, and this is also our three battle. Alright, talk. Tackle bind. Summon Scylla. to analyze money. Give it to me. So my yes. Appreciate it. is powerful. According to the rules of life, strong people leave behind their genes. If you are interested, I can analyze your genes. With this extractor, I'll collect your stuff. An insertion slot opens between Valto's legs. It appears to be equipped with a stuff extractor. Ignore. produced within my body. My power source is the vitality of living creatures. Did nothing. Well, that's not good. Mirage is basically useless. Uh, well, we're gonna have to swap out. Uh, Julia Maiden. So, 
Priscilla. Artificial Nightmare Embrace. Black Magic. This will do Mega Blizzard. Acquired currency. Unnecessary. Shall transfer. Well, you gave back the money at least. from deep within here and gradually erodes everything in our direction which makes me wonder about the state of the world beyond the door only need Shanifa can't open that there's Shanifa alright talk to Shanifa take a find Lamia, Corpse, Evil Fear. <sighs> Staring at your high quality earth. Want to give it to her? Yes. Is down. Okay, strike. Drain worm. The mouth in the center of my body is my real mouth. The mouth in my head is something like an extension. Mina has reached level 23. And that's it. Please open the door. Alright, now for the Sonulus route. What is this black crevice? It looks like the wall and space itself have cracked. Tala. Alright, we can talk. Or Lawn Club Strike. And a Grand Noah. Let's 
Snake Tail. Navi, let's see. These uh, require that to do seven moons. Let's do it to Kitsune Storm Talisman. That strange meat looks good. Will you give it to your big sister? Your sausage, yes. You're a good child, huh, boy? Leaves in the um, breeze are the same as dust in the wind. Be swept by the gale, Kitsune Storm Talisman! Alright, they're both confused. Bow before me! With all my strength! Ah! Alright, this team's doing pretty good. Attack. Monster Servant. Let's have her do some ninjutsu. Fox Ninpo, Revolving Fire! That feather looks nice. Will you give it to your big sister? You have a harpy feather? Yes. You're a good child, huh, boy? Flames of my kin accompany my roaring wheel! Fox Nimpo, Revolving Fire! But now he's got some nice cut-ins. It hit itself in confusion. Alright, who gets who came? It's Silly Ninja Arts! Here, help! Strike with Monster Servant Beast Four Moons. All right, want some more sausage? Stone, Solana has reached level 26. Excellent. What, what is this place? Chaos Crystal. There's Shanifa. I'll talk. Club Strike. Rolling Sun Slice. Just Moon Roar Talisman. Oh, I should have done the R1. Yeah! <laughs> Talisman of Yin and Yang. Show them your power!
Alright, that's a lot of that. Staring at your sausage. I guess bound. Hey, why'd you wake me up? Not effective. Good. Just need Carol with three and need two others. There are a lot of those cracks in space. Alright, Balto. So we got Vitella all the way up to 100 in that one bout. Alright. Love Strike. Start with Vitella. Snake Tail. It's in a Storm Talisman. You seem a bit too well equipped to have wandered in here accidentally. Oh, she countered, huh? With Kitsune Storm Talisman. Snake Tail. Alright, good. Vite. Snake Tail. It's in a Storm Talisman. Outside water is clean. Oh, cool. <laughs> Whenever she attacks, she has a chance to steal material. Oh, yep. Yeah. Counter with Kitsune Storm Talisman. Alright, 
heavy spire. Well, that. we'll stick with the club. Yep, snake tail, talisman, you can see any storm talisman. It's clean. Useless my uncle t often tumbles down here. Please return to the economy. Alright, excellent. Which he has reached level 24. Good thing, too. That was the last of Nanabi's MP. Alright, let's go. Same door we've seen before. Okay, let's go! As usual, there's one of these. I've seen the act as tunnels that connect parallel worlds to ours. As usual, there's one of these. They appear to be tunnels connecting parallel worlds with ours. This place is quite the enigma with how little we know. Does it act like a partition wall between worlds, perhaps? My best guess is that the, these parallel worlds are like overlapping faults. But this area itself appears to be outside of normal space entirely. Everything about this place is a mystery. But let's proceed for now. I feel like I've seen this place somewhere already. On site Taurus, somewhere else. Why are you staying there like that? Come on, let's go. Ah, yeah. Yep, it's the same place Luca goes when he dies. See nothing up here. Seed of happiness. EXP, we don't need that right now. Blue Ice Stone. Hey, can we turn back now? You can't tell me this isn't clearly dangerous. I have to figure out what's going on. Know as well as I do, we can't stop here. Goo goo goo! Shall we proceed? We must discover what is happening, no matter what. Well, let's keep going. I want to see what awaits us with my own eyes. This world is full of cracks in its integrity, too. Some forms of life should still be able to survive here. I should hurry and collect samples. I mean, you've got... I guess the grass up there is dead. This place is as much of a disaster as we feared. For now, let's go find a good vantage point. Wait. Is this... I mean... What is this? What's happening? What is this place? Has this world been eroded by some kind of darkness? Everything is pitch black as far as I can see. Is the only thing that's left in this world is this island? Search impossible. No response from outside perimeter of this island. You gotta be kidding! 
This world was swallowed by nothingness? Nothingness as far as I can see. The only thing left in this world is this island. That's a joke, right? Everything Earth in this place was swallowed by this black thing? In this world, humans are... Can't be that they're... This isn't an or environment organisms can't survive in. Even if they could, only microbes would remain. Phew. Let's investigate cautiously. Even if there are no towns, there might be some buildings. It'd be nice if there were a place to rest. Whoa, what was that? That was far too strong to be an earthquake, wasn't it? It didn't feel like a normal earthquake. I couldn't feel any pre preliminary tremor. Rather, the P and F waves hit the surface simultaneously. I can't feel the power of the Earth. It wasn't an earthquake, she says. Also, I can't feel the power of the wind either. Did both the wind and Earth die in this world? What a normal world. I sense apoptosis around here as well, by the way. Let's be as careful as possible while we explore. Yep, there's only one thing to find. It is this tower over here. A tower? A place like this? The entrance is wide open. Alright, let's investigate what's inside. This tower is quite spacious. Be careful, something is coming down the hall towards us. Is it a machine? Let come to the tower. Who or what? You aren't human, are you? I am Rayo, a prototype machine life form. I have been instructed by Master to welcome you. Who is your master? Someone from this world who survived? Intelligent life is extinct in this world. There are no survivors. Intelligent life is extinct? Both humans and monsters? Last human died 25 years ago. Last natural monster died 6 years ago. This world too will soon be destroyed. Then angels? Angels aren't counted as living beings, right? Last angel died eight years ago. No intelligent life remains in this world. What is the person you call master? Are they a machine life form like you? I will guide you to master. Please follow me. Please note that the artificial life forms... Uh, Guards are wandering the tower. Please upon us, as they uh, exist to prevent uh, apoptosis intrusion. Uh, wait! Let's go after her. Nothing this way, right? Yep, nothing. We're going to the job. Party and job change book. I'll see ya. Logical gear. Yep, organized party. Vite. A mysterious being known as an apoptosis, which resides in Taurus. They are organisms resembling monsters, but no one knows what they are. Moreover, she appears to instinctively attack intruders, as if programmed into her mind. Mate is a slime organism, and the female part is a mechanical unit. The slime enters this unit to operate it from within. St simulating a female body, this union of slime and machine appears to be highly advanced technology, but its origins are unknown. She requires an immense amount of stuff in order to function, which she squeezes out of the living creatures she captures. 
Simply touching her viscous slime can bring about vigorous uh, simulation. As if your life itself were being consumed by the slime. Receive evaluation. Air 245. Is your opponent an apoptosis? What on earth are you doing, anyway? I do not like Vitea. Surprisingly, she is very similar to a slime. Her skills are not that powerful, but she does use recovery skills. If there are other enemies with her, they carry her primary target. Unlike other slimes, she's resistant to status ailments. You can use poison if you wish, since it seems the easiest to apply. Her elemental resistance is average, except for water, which is ineffective against her. Be careful what you attack her with. Now go, oh brave Luca. I have some other business to take care of for a while. Vitala. A mysterious being known as an apoptosis, which resides in Tartarus. They are organisms resembling monsters, but no one knows what they are. Moreover, she appears to instinctively attack intruders as if programmed into her mind. Vitala is an unknown humanoid monster who uses the gaping mouth on her center of her body to devour humans. Sometimes she will swallow the person slowly as she enjoys watching them struggle. Her combat ability is also very high. In addition to the fangs lying her huge mouth, her large tongue also possesses extraordinary strength. Her, tongue, her huge mouth also serves as a reproductive organ and if it receives your stuff, it is capable of producing offspring. She is a mysterious creature that is extremely unusual in her ecology. Receive evaluation. Air 245, your opponent is an apoptosis. What a horrible monster. Natala is a predator type monster. She can kill anyone under digestion status with her predation skills. If any ally falls under the digestion status, clear it immediately. If you have no means of curing it, at least try to prevent it. This monster has high elemental ailment resistances. One small mistake could be your last. Now go, oh brave Luca. Leave that place immediately. Valto, a mysterious being known as an apoptosis, which resides in Taurus. They are organisms resembling monsters, but no one knows what they are. Moreover, she appears to instinctively attack intruders as if programmed into her mind. Valto is an organism whose entire body is composed of machinery. She can expand each part of her body to envelop her prey like a cage to forcibly squeeze out their fluids. Her behavior is mechanical and is uncertain whether or not she has a will of her own. Her combat ability is also very high. Her fist unit can exert extreme heat or cold upon impact, and weapons like Gatling guns are built into her body. Her purpose, along with her very existence, are shrouded in mystery. Receive Evaluation Error 245, apoptosis, machine type. Moreover, this is. Valto is a type of machine. He uses gun, fire, and ice skills. She has high attack power, so you'd want to take care of her first, but almost no stats helmets work on her. Elemental resistance is also high, but she is weak to thunder and water. Attack the common weak point of machines. Now go, oh brave Luca. My voice probably got through to you, right? Shanifa, mysterious being known as an apoptosis, which resides in Taurus. They are organisms resembling monsters, but no one knows what they are. Moreover, she appears to instinctively attack intruders that have been programmed into her mind. Shanifa is a mysterious creature that floats in the air, cackling with bizarre laughter. She appears to be devoid of reason, as she will not speak any words other than laughing. 
Her body appears to be composed of sticky flesh that, if touched carelessly, one can be drawn into her interior. It seems that she digests and absorbs the prey that was pulled inside as it is, but the details of this process are unknown. In addition, her body is covered in poison, and she is capable of scouring it around. Even among the enigmatic apoptosis, Shanifa is a mysterious type. Receive evaluation. Error 245. Is she also an apoptosis? This is also mysterious. Shanifa is similar to undead creatures. She seems to use various skills that inflict status ailments. When she appears alongside other enemies, she's quite the threat. You should take her out first. Status ailments barely ever work on her, but because she is undead, petrification works quite well. On top of that, because she is undead, she is weak against fire elemental attacks. Our elements are not very effective. Now go, oh brave Luca. Leave that place as soon as possible. <laughs>